dashing through the snow. Bum ba da dum. Howdy, welcome to Banjo Ben Clark. Dot com. I'm your host, Banjo Ben, on your favorite website to learn how to play banjo, mandolin, and guitar. Now listen, I, I know that it's not even Thanksgiving yet, but we've got to start the Christmas music now so that you have an opportunity to learn it by the time the good day rolls around. So today is a really fun lesson. We're going to learn Jingle Bells on the banjo. We're going to start in the key of G, and then we're going to modulate, go to the key of C, and we're going to learn a break there. Okay, so not only are we going to learn two different breaks to the song, but also learn how the melody is interpreted in two different keys without having to use a capo, which I think is, is a really fun and interesting thing to do on the banjo. If you're watching on Facebook or YouTube, here in a moment, I'll ask you to come over to my favorite website, banjobenclark.com. You can join as a Gold Pick member. And what that does is allows you to watch hundreds of videos uh, for hundreds of lessons, as well as download all the tabs that I have uh, rhythm track MP3s that you can download as well. This is a three page tab because it's a, it's a long solo. So I've got the tab there in PDF or TEF file format. As I mentioned, three different speeds of downloadable rhythm tracks and about a 30 minute video lesson. So I'd be honored for you to come over there and check it out. Merry Christmas to you. It's a little early, but that's okay. Let's dive into the first measure of Jingle Bells. Now, as we th throw up the tab here, um, I want you to notice that I do have the right hand fingerings and those little circles beneath the tab there. T stands for thumb, one would stand for index, two would stand for middle finger. Now the first two measures is a kickoff. It sounds like this. And it just serves as a way to walk into the melody or to kind of establish the tempo if someone's playing um, accompaniment with you. It just starts off with a square roll, what I call a square roll, with a little slide going fourth to fifth fret on the low D string. And we just walk down. Now in the key of G, we're going to start our melody. This is a measure three. We're going to start our melody on a D note, dashing through the snow. So it's very important that we interpret our melody very straightforward. And this is a pretty straightforward arrangement. So we're going to start off just with some quarter notes uh, measure three, our low D string, then we're going to pinch the first two strings together, and then we're going to play second fret, open, dash, then measure four, we'll come back and land, snow, and we've got a little space there to fill, so I'm going to do a forward reverse roll, measure four, in a one, so then measure five, we go back to one horse open sleigh, one horse open so let's just try measures one through five very slowly. Don't forget that I have on the site here another video where I'm going to play the whole thing through very slowly for you, as well as uh, I have those downloadable rhythm MP3 tracks. Here we go. Ready, go. So that's the first line. In my slow video, I do it even slower than that. As we go into measure six, one horse open sleigh, the chord changes to a C position. And at this particular time, I want you to go ahead and make a full C chord. So second fret down there, first fret on your B string, second fret on your high D string. And we're going to do a for another forward reverse roll pattern. Sounds like this. But our next to last note, measure six, we're going to lift off our middle finger and play that open D string. And then go back to that C position for measure seven. Then release. And I want you to grab that second fret on your G string with your index finger because that puts you in position for the next um, measure, measure eight, where we're going to go into a partial D <coughs> chord position. Meaning we're going to grab that fourth fret on the low D string with our ring finger. And then we're going to keep that index finger down. And we're going to have that down for a measure and a half. Measure eight starts out with two quarter notes. And then we're going to do a roll here. And then a forward roll in measure nine. At that point you can release and come down and grab the first fret of the B string with your index finger. And I want you to pull it off. And I'm going to pull off going up. And then land on the second fret. Don't make that pull off too fast. It goes the same speed as the rest of your eighth notes. So measure nine sounds like this. Okay, then 
measure 10, we're gonna land with a pinch and then do another one of those rolls. So let's play measure six through 10 together slowly. Ready, go. To measure 11 we're going to start repeating some of the same stuff because the um, melody repeats itself in this part of Jingle Bells okay so we've already seen measures 11 12 13 and even 14 we've seen all of this but when we get to 15 we're going to get a little syncopated it's a little different and we're going to stay in our C position it sounds like this. So I'm just going to rush that melody just a little bit to kind of break up the monotony of quarter and eighth notes. So the first note is an eighth note. So then we go to that pinch, which is a quarter note. One and two and three and four and. And then we're getting ready to wrap up the verse part of Jingle Bells in measure 16 in the key of G. We're gonna do just a little Scruggs lick here, measure 16, starts off with a quarter note. Then we're gonna do a really fast hammer on from second to third fret. Then a forward roll through that. So measure 15. And I, I would like you to do it with your first two fingers. Because in measure 17, we need to grab this position, and that just makes your hand already be in that position. We're going to grab second fret up here with our index finger, fourth fret with our ring finger, and we're going to do a backwards roll part of it, and then release. And I want you to drop down with your right hand thumb, if you're right handed, with your right hand thumb, and grab that B string with your thumb. That's just going to be a little easier than doing it with your index finger. Then we're going to do that same little pull off again. And then we land on our G string. And at this point, we're getting ready to go into the chorus. Jingle bells, jingle bells. And so I'm going to um, mute the strings after I play that G string measure eight, 18. And then jump up to three and five. And play that. And then I like to slide off of that. Oh, jingle bells, just to kind of mimic what we do whenever we sing it. Okay, so 16 through 18 sounds like this. Two, three, four. And we're going to go into Jingle Bells. Let's check that out now. 